And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Julian. Julian is a Hydra Marine, uh, which I believe you can, you, is a reward for being random. And so is that little dice marker right there. He is ranked 52nd. Almost said 52'd. Um, 52nd in his Platinum Division with 944 points, 59 wins, and 51 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the East up against Julian. He has spawned as the Red t uh, Protoss player. Once again, wh wh why, why, why am I stuttering so much today? Why, why, why is that happening? He is the Red Protoss player in the North. The map is Scrap Station, which I believe I told you in one of the previous episodes that is actually, this is my best map. I had no idea. I uh, looked it up the other day. I might have to recheck those stats because I did go on a winning streak of sorts. So who knows what's going on in StarCraft 2 when I play. Of course, uh, Scrap Station is very susceptible to medevac drops, especially on this side. I mean, look how much room there is over there. Um, if I was uh, on the other side, I'd probably want to land there. I could land here, though. You know, so much room behind the minerals. That is so good for medevac drops, especially with like a. You know, this is just a thought. Uh, with siege up siege tanks, they could probably be about there, just at a range of sight of, of all these guys here, and boom, everybody. You know, the the medevacs come in, and you can start getting massive amounts of damage done on these. Uh, on these probes with the siege tank, but I've never done that. I always stick with the infantry when I go for medevac drops. I never think, oh, I could go for mech. So I'm going around, and I notice the pylon outside his base. It looks like he's trying to protect both this base and his expansion right now, and this is a scary feeling right here. I'm going around his base. I'm trying to find a gateway, trying to find something. Uh, so I look back on my mini map and I see that there's a there's a pylon down here. So, well, eventually I see that there's a pylon down there. So I will eventually go back around and try to find out what's going on down here. And once I find it is a forge, I will not be happy. Uh, luckily, there is nothing in my base right now, but I do send an SCV out. Going to build that supply depot particularly far away from where I normally would because I don't see what's going on in his base. I, I do see a cannon going down along with the forge there. I, at least I assumed it was a cannon. Oh, probe is going to get away. No probe. Kill him. Get him. So it doesn't look like I, I scanned up here yet, or at least I looked up there yet, so there, there was a possibility for a photon cannons up there. Meanwhile, where is this probe going? Huh? Oh, don't you do it. Don't you do it. He still has no gas. Weird. I just noticed that. Uh, it looks like he's going for an expansion here, so yes, this is a forge fast expand with photon cannons outside in a badly positioned spot, let's be honest. Uh, they need to be in front of the pylon that's powering them. This guy's still just hanging out. I assume that he's going to be getting a proxy pylon here eventually, possibly with photon cannons, so that whenever I try to move out, he gets some free pot shots off on me. And look at this, he's going for a pylon here. Um, not sure what the point of that is. Well, actually, I do, but I don't want to spoil it. Photon cannon going down, and there we go. This is the best place for photon cannon so far. Meanwhile, I am going for three racks because I do know, once I saw that forge and that photon cannon um, inside his base and I realized that there was probably nothing inside my base, uh, once again, the, the, the photon cannons, it doesn't really matter as how late I spot them, I've never lost to them. So I'm not too worried about the photon cannons inside my base, but once I saw the forge, I knew he was going for the fast expansion here, and the best counter I can think of to the forge fast expand is three racks. So really I didn't have to change that build at all. Okay, it's going up here. Do they count on the unit screen? They don't, so he still has no army whatsoever. His only army are the photon cannons. 
and he's got a lot of them. So he's actually 30 out of 68 right now, not producing any probes out of expansion. I don't know if he realized, there we go, I was about to say, I don't know if he realized that he uh, did finish, uh, but he did finally get the probes out there. Doing a huge transfer there because, um, he, yeah, he was oversaturated at his main base, but that is because he never went for gas. He still doesn't have any gas. So high on the energy, on well, on one of them, doesn't look like he's used it in a long time. He's going for photon cannons up here, so there we go. Once I go through here, photon cannons will be able to start doing damage on my army, even though he can't. I can't see up there. That's not fair. Photon cannons are hacks. I am going for the combat shield upgrade because I don't have time for the uh, for the. The weapons level one, and boom, there we go. Photon cannons are up late, so that is why I did not expect it. I scan up there. Uh, I could actually see the photon cannon, but I could not attack it. Um, so I scan, and down goes the photon cannon. Going back for the rocks here, uh, because I know that he's probably heavily barricaded there. He's not as heavily barricaded as I would have thought. He still has a ton of minerals. It doesn't look like he's using it to get anything out of the gateway. Why don't you have a couple zealots? Definitely have the room and supply for it. So I'm moving in here. All these photon cannons are going to be powered by this one pylon right now, so I'm just going to take that out. Just start taking out all these guys. And these are then cancelled. And he's running for the safety of the photon cannons, it looks like. Uh, these guys, uh, I don't want to join the guys over here. I'm kind of stimming up now that Stim is finished. And I'm taking out the pylons here because they are the weak points here. Um, once again, these guys have 300 uh, health and these only have 400. So there, there's more than one powered by a single pylon. Go for the pylon. It is more cost effective that way. He is still full on chrono boost to there. Um, doesn't look like he ever spent anything out of it. I'm sending reinforcements in. He is going for two stargates in the back of his base. Once again, I don't have anything in the back of mine. I do take out the forge, so this will be the last photon cannon that he makes for quite some time. Going for the pylon, instantly unpowers the two uh, the two photon cannons. And finishing off the nexus. Boom, look at that explosion! I'm like a Mythbusters, I love me my explosions. And look at this! There are all these pylons all over the map. One pylon is powering three of his photon cannons. And he's left with no choice to, but to force all his probes off the line there, not doing a good job of surrounding, and he gives me the good game. And that's the game. There we go, that's the game. He did have two Void Rays on the way. Huh. One of them was almost done. He did end up getting a little bit better on Mineral Management. Oh, but I'm doing a lot worse. Um... Oh, looks like I went for the expansion, but the probe was in the way! Damn you, probe! Damn you. Uh, still on three racks, not producing anything out of it, because, you know, once the probes all came off the line, I'm like, oh, yep, game. That's game. As you can see, I, I stopped producing for about a minute there. Uh, so there's the counter to the Forge Fast Expand. I've never seen one actually. That was done pretty well. I must say, th his biggest problem here was the Photon Cannons all being powered by a single pylon. Especially here, you know, there ended up being three or four uh, Photon Cannons with just one pylon protecting them. Oh, that's so bright. Let's look into it. Uh, I hope you guys aren't watching this in a dark room. The Stargates are up, but very late. He did get a replacement forge up, but it was too late as well. His APM crushed mine. Not surprising. My, my APM is up since going to the mouse and keyboard, but not too far up. And yeah, forge fast expand. That's how you counter it. For those of you that don't know, this is the first time I've ever seen it played against me. So this is the first time that you'll be seeing the strategy. So I do want to show you guys new strategies. It's been a while since I've had to say that. So that's the game. Hope you guys laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Random floating parts. Thanks for watching.